In 1942, he founded Johnson Publishing Company and set out to publish his first magazine, Negro Digest. But when the 24-year-old tried to find a bank that would lend him money, he was waved away by bankers who contemptuously called him boy. Undaunted, Johnson decided to go directly to the public for startup money. Putting up his mother's furniture as collateral, Johnson borrowed $500, which he used to mail out offers, to Supreme Life's 20,000 policyholders for discount charter subscriptions.